I think uh, the budget is a very good place to start, or the proposed budget is a very good place to start to get some idea of what the thinking is down in Washington. Uh, uh, the placeholder is about $200 billion, which the federal government is setting aside for investment in, in infrastructure. And the hope is that that would be matched with another $800 billion, either from the states or from the private sector. And that's how you, to get, to that's how you get to the trillion dollar number. And of course, that's not going to be spent all in one year and, or else and budgeted for one year. But I think that's the point in place at beginning. And, uh, you know, I know that the president and his staff and administration is very anxious to get this uh, subject on the table and get rolling because it's jobs for Americans and it's sorely needed. In terms of the funding, the $200 billion in the budget and then other ways of funding infrastructure, we've heard more and more talk about the gas tax, the president himself floating this idea that it's something the administration is considering. Where, where do you come down on the idea of the gas tax for funding infrastructure? Well, I, I, I'm not running for Congress, so I'm in favor of it. <laughs> the, pro, the, the it's, you know, it's a... It, in terms a, of raising the gas tax? Well, you wouldn't really, it's, a, it's, we wouldn't be raising it. You'd be leveling it to where it would have been had they adjusted it for uh, inflation in 1993. So in, in real terms, the gas tax is actually far less than it was in 1993 when they imposed it. And if they did adjust it for inflation or adjust it for the fact that your car is getting much more mileage than it used to, it actually would produce tens of billions of dollars of annual revenue that could be reinvested back into infrastructure in the country. Of course, there's an argument that it's regressive because, you know, it hurts little people, small uh, people of lower incomes, much more uh, hard, hard than uh, uh, wealthy. Uh, but, uh, you know, they're actually paying on adjusted basis less than they paid in 1993. Um, but that's just one source of revenue. It's not the only source of revenue. And we can't forget the fact that the states actually provide something like 80 percent of the money that goes into infrastructure. So the federal government contribution by and large is small, but the federal government interference in the activity of implementing <laughs> infrastructure right. is quite large. <laughs> in terms of permitting? And in permitting, of yes, because takes. when you take money from the federal government, you get into the morass of the permitting and all the problems that they uh, create in terms of uh, requirements and mandates. What, Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.